He was a very popular 80s star who brought us the catchphrase, what you talking about, Willis? Join me on this episode of Rest in Peace as we pay tribute to Gary Coleman. Till he returns or calls me home Here in the power of Christ I stand oh. Gary Wayne Coleman was born on February 8, 1968 in Zion, Illinois. As an infant, he was adopted by Edmonia Sue and W.G. Coleman. Also at an early age, Gary suffered from a rare kidney disease, which he took medication for, resulting in his dwarfism. During 1973 to 1984, Gary would undergo two kidney transplant surgeries, to which both of them were unsuccessful requiring him to have frequent dialysis. But between those years, Gary would begin a career as a child actor, appearing in a commercial for Harris Bank. Well, it's that time of the year when you can get a Hubert doll at the Harris Bank. Just open a savings account with $200 or more, or add $200 to a savings account you already have. If you got a Hubert doll in past years, get another one. You know, you can never have too many Hubert dolls, cause <laughs> you can never save too much money. You should have a Harris banker. You should have a Hubert doll. He would then go on to star in many TV shows like The Jeffersons and Good Times. But it wouldn't be until 1978 when Gary would land his most famous role, where he was cast as Arnold Jackson in the hit TV sitcom Different Strokes along with cast members Todd Bridges, Conrad Bain, and Dana Plato. It was also where he would say his most famous catchphrase. <laughs> what you talking about, Will? <laughs> At the height of his career, Gary was making $100,000 per episode. But according to sources, after paying his parents, advisors, lawyers and taxes he would end up with only a quarter of his full earning and despite what many fans saw on tv behind the scenes gary was very unhappy despite his age and health problems gary was made to work long hours on the different strokes set but as time went on gary became a very popular figure and it landed him many guest roles on TV shows such as The Facts of Life, Silver Spoon, 227, and The Wayne's Brothers. He also received many field roles such as The Fantastic World of DC Collins and Playing With Fire. However, as time went by, Gary started to experience financial struggles and legal problems. Besides medical expenses, he lost over $200,000 on an arcade parlor he named after himself. In 1989, he sued his adopted parents and former financial advisors for misappropriating his trust funds to where he was awarded $1.3 million. In 1998, he was charged with assault when shopping for a bulletproof vest while working as a security guard. A fan named Tracy Fields asked him for his autograph. When he refused, an argument took place in which it was said Mrs. Field mocked Gary Coleman's career to which he replied by punching her in the face several times. The case appeared on court TV show Judge Mills Lane to which Gary was awarded to pay $1,600 in hospital bills and take anger management classes. It wouldn't be the last time Gary would appear on court TV show because in 2008, after one year of marrying his wife, Shannon Price, the two appeared on divorce court. On May 26, 2010, Gary was admitted to the Utah Valley Regional Medical Center in critical condition after falling down the stairs of his home to where he suffered 
an epidural hematoma. When his condition worsened, he was put on life support the next day. But at noon on May 28, 2010, Gary Coleman passed away after being taken off of life support by his ex-wife, Shannon Price. Following Gary Coleman's death, many controversies and disputes went on between his ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, and his parents. One of them being Shannon Price's decision to take him off life support, to which it was later confirmed by the hospital that Gary had completed a healthcare directive giving her permission to make any medical decisions on his behalf. Another being about his estate, to where Shannon tried to claim it based on common law marriage, but a judge ruled against it. And finally, the dispute over his ashes, which according to Gary's ex-wife, she wanted to scatter all over Golden Spike National Historic Site in Utah as a tribute to his love of trains. But still to this day, his ashes, they remain unknown. We don't know who has them. Gary Coven was 42 years old. I'm Psycho Rick. Thanks for watching. Till he returned or calls me home, here in the power of